Exploring old ghost towns is always a lot of fun, and we've explored quite a few over the years. Did you know that there's over 600 ghost towns in the state of Nevada? That's more than the inhabited cities they have. Today we're going way out in the desert to visit the ghost towns of Gold Point and Bonnie Claire. Both of them have interesting stories to tell, but one of them has an unexplained story to tell. I would consider Gold Point more of a living ghost town, but it has all the charm a small town can offer, complete with a hanging platform and noose. Gold Point is dotted with the remains of several old mining operations. Originally a silver mining camp in the early 1880s, it was known as Horn Silver until 1932. Herb Robbins and his friend Chuck Kremlin came across Gold Point in the late 1970s. They purchased some of the buildings. Later, Chuck's brother Walt joined. Herb hit a mega jackpot in Vegas. That enabled him to buy all the rest of the buildings that came available. Together, Walt and Herb restored the old buildings, but were careful to leave the old exteriors original. On the weekend, Herb plays the role of Sheriff Stone, and he's also the fire chief. He also opens the restored miners' cabins to paying guests. The bar wasn't technically open when we were there, but the people were just super nice. They were getting ready for an event. They let us come in and take pictures, and they offered us a cold drink. We got to sit at the bar, and we basically spent as much time as we wanted there. And uh, the bar is really well known. So if you're ever in Gold Point, you should stop in and check it out. Like I said, we've explored a lot of ghost towns over the years, but the Bonnie Claire stands out because of something unexplained that happened while we were there. The town got its start in the 1880s. This mill at Bonnie Claire was used to process the ore from Gold Mountain. Back then it was known as Thorpe's Wells. Around 1905, 1906, the name was changed to the Bonnie Claire after Bonnie Claire Emerson. Her husband was a novelist and a mining promoter. After the gold decline, the town was used as a supply point to build the Scotty's Castle in Death Valley. And if you haven't been there, that's another really cool place to go. As you can see today, there's not much left of the town except some stone foundations and a few dilapidated buildings. If you hike around, you'll see a few of the ties from the old Bullfrog Goldfield Railroad. Also, you'll see there's a small graveyard with a couple of grave markers. We had been exploring the Bonnie Claire for a while and we decided to go back to the Jeep to have lunch. We parked the Jeep in the shade right next to this hill and we were sitting there in the Jeep eating lunch and we heard these two kids that were sound like they were laughing and giggling just on the other side of the hill. I even commented that it sounded like we had company and I was a little concerned because the uh, kids sounded like they were close to where the chemical pit was where the mill had been. We soon left right after that and realized that there was no kids around, not another soul, just the other couple that we went with. I have, I have no explanation what it was that I heard, but um, it was kind of an interesting <laughs> experience. I'll never forget. I'd like to go back there someday and uh, do some more exploring.
there's just so much history here and you know there's a lot of them that uh, aren't going to be around that much longer if you guys have been to that area let me know what your experience was i'll catch up with you guys later bye guys